okay, this should be working now. Should be working now. Uh, I like going live, but I don't like going live. And I really should test it before I go on. So sorry about that. You should be able to hear me now. So we're going to be talking about calcul calculating a two-ply yarn and um, how to determine what size the singles need to be for the size of your two-ply that you have in mind. So it's, um, you know, say if you want to spin something at an Aran weight, this calculation will help you determine what size to spin the singles to get to that finished Aran two-ply weight. I hope you can hear me now. So if you can hear me, please, please tell me. Um, we are on the third module in the Spinning and Fiber Arts Extravaganza Workshop, and it's all about plying. So not only will you learn how to calculate plies, two plies, three plies, how to spin a very balanced ply, how to count bumps or count treadles or count um, angle of twists, whatever your flavor is for making a plied yarn. And um, you will also learn just so much stuff, so much stuff. And I've had people say they have spun for 30 years and some of the things they never even heard before, but it worked because I do lots and lots of research way down the line and um, to give you the best information possible. I also had someone tell me that she was um, studying for her um, um, spinning certification course, the one in Canada, and she was using my class as a refresher, and she thought, she said that it was very nice, very nice, and it gave her a lot of information. So anyway, okay. So if you can hear me, just say hello, or just say hello so I know you're here. And if you can't hear me, I give up. <laughs> I give up. Okay, so for the two-ply, um, we're going to be using the Etsy Twist Tool, which is a spinner's control card. And you can use any spinner's control card that you like. It doesn't have to be this one, but these are the gauges you're going to be using. This is the yarn thickness gauge. And this um, over here tells you what weight the yarn is, whether it's bulky, Aran, um, fingering, worsted, that kind of thing. But this is what you're going to need to be able to determine um, what size your singles are and what size your ply is going to be. Okay. So it's a very simple um, mathematical equation, very simple. And let me bring you up close and then we'll go through, go through that. Okay, so let's say, so I need to spin a yarn for a project and it needs to be, it needs to be an Aran weight, which is going to be, this one here, it's eight to 10 wraps per inch, okay? So that is the two ply that I need to get. So that's nine wraps per inch. So I'm going to write down a nine. And then I'm gonna multiply that by 1.5. That is my constant. And it's gonna give me a 3.5. So what that means is I need to spin two bobbins at 13.5 wraps per inch to come out to the nine wraps per inch. I'm gonna round this up to 14 wraps per inch because most of your spinners control cards don't um, work in half numbers. They usually just work in whole numbers. So what I need to do is spin this one right here, the 14, and then it's going to equal the 9. Okay, so let's take a look and see if this is going to work out. So I've been spinning this yarn for a project, and you know, I usually spin yarns, and then I sort of figure my project out later. Um, but with this particular one, I have to spin a certain yarn for a certain pattern. Okay, so now we're going to measure measure the yarn and it does in fact come out to 14. So let's check the ply back. And the ply back comes out to about a nine. 
So this does work. This is a very simple mathematical equation to use. So let's say you wanted to spin, you wanted your two ply to be 20 wraps per inch, which is on here, which is gonna be a baby. So you'll just use the numbers kind of in between, kind of round them out, take the average. You're gonna multiply it by 1.5 and you're gonna get 30 WPI. So you need to spin two bobbins, whoop, two bobbins at 30 WPI to equal that 20. Okay, and then let's say you wanted to do a bulky. So you had eight times 1.5 equals 12. So eight is the WPI that you wanted to end up with, that two ply. You multiply it by 1.5, you need to spin two bobbins at 12 wraps per inch. So that is how you calculate a two ply. If you wanna learn more about plying, and um, everything there is to know about plying that you may not even know and for, um, for some help to ply really balanced yarns, check out the um, Kamaj Fiber Arts Spinning and Fiber Extravaganza Workshop. Thanks for watching, bye.